Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll check out my trailer. So this is a blackout shockwave edition trailer in Indiana. So it's a nice little trailer. It's an 18 footer by seven. If you're wondering what you need for an X3, all you need is seven foot high. You don't need to go extremely high. That's what's nice about having an X3. So if you're thinking about buying an X3 and a reason why, uh, you don't need to go big trailer and I like this trailer because it's completely blacked out and everything I own is completely almost blacked out so. and Opens up easy and shuts down easy not heavy anybody can do it So Let's step in here. So I shot a uh, what you call it there DuPont uh, box liner spray in the floor let me turn on the lights on the wall the day i got it i put uh, the boat resin so there can no be no cannot be any stains or anything on the wood and i also put a rubber trim all on the bottom so all my spray and everything that i put on the side if there was any defects i would do it and all the diamond plate i sprayed the same thing on there as well to get rid of all the diamond because I didn't want anything shiny and did the sides I went with an eight and a half footer because with the tracks even a 72 even a set like a the 72 inches wide with the tracks fit an eight and a half call this is not a toy hauler this is not a cargo trailer this is a car hauler so it's got plenty of room in the back I'm five uh, nine and a half with safety toes I'm probably five eleven so and it clears perfectly so you got no worries about that you got room to put stuff in and with the, my side by side in i could put my uh, son's atv sideways and still put stuff in with 18 foot so with tracks you could probably get away with 16. with just a side by side with no tracks you could get away with 14 because that's what i used to have and the, i'll show you guys the main reason why i went with a trailer like this because when you start Getting all oh, another stuff that I did to it was I'll stick to that I guess. I put the rubber trim around the, the fenders because I didn't want no stone chip or nothing. And I also shot a rock guard, rubberized rock guard underneath the whole thing, like 10 cans of it. I don't know if you got all over the place. I don't know if it ran down. We'll see. And it's got the door with the step inside. And uh, Shot the gravel guard in there as well, so it's pretty nice with that. It's, it's, a, it's a real door that locks up. The reason for going with a cargo trailer was every time we'd go on a rally or something, the wife wants to go to the bathroom or you want to change after before you get into your vehicle. Well, enclosed trailer basically, that's one reason why to buy one is the privacy of changing afterwards or changing to go ride or whatever, or to go to the bathroom or to do anything. Also, it's nice to have like everything secure in there and everything like it's locked up right so if you're out like uh, somewhere else where you're sleeping in motel rooms and all that and you don't have to worry about your gear and all that because we know it's life people are not all nice so you can lock and secure your stuff to having an enclosed trailer that was one of the biggest reasons too also we're cheap as ass so we like to sleep in this thing when we go like in the fall or in the spring or whatever not like 40 degrees because you'll cook in there but in fall and spring for for hunting season and all that kind of stuff you can even actually sleep in there we got a little heater and i got my gen generator so we put the electricity to it and we heat and we because we sleep comfortably so you can do that too and i see a lot of people make turn these things into campers right that do it all so it's good for that and another reason too is when you get home on a Sunday, if you're gone all weekend, where you don't have to pull everything out and put it in the garage, you can just leave it in there and not worry about it. So that's another positive reason for having an enclosed trailer. Another thing as well is if you got no garage or you got no room in the garage, well, this could become a garage. So that's another perk of having an enclosed trailer. So if you're debating what reasons for it, it's extra storage, it's an extra garage, it keeps the thieves away, it could come, it could become a camper. Uh, if you're running in winter roads, salty roads, like up north and everything, us corrodes everything, like the salt gets everywhere. This protects your equipment, protects everything. And yeah, so that's being an X-Tree, 
as well. You don't have to go with that, like the high one. So it cuts the wind, it's less hard on fuel and everything, and it's less weight and everything. So that's really great for that. So I'll grab the X3, I'll show you guys on 32 inches with the light bar on top, what it does for clearance in, and it clears with the tracks. And why I like the eight and a half foot compared to the seven, uh, the seven foot wide, because it was a pain in the ass trying to get out of it. So I'll go grab the X3 and I'll drive it in. Anybody that's uh, lived life a little bit and uh, got a beer gut or whatever to get out with the seven footer, it's tight as hell. Like I used to always let the wife do it, but then with eight and a, eight and a half foot wide, well, and it's even touching my mirror and I could close my mirror and have it wider, but I'd rather touch the mirror and touch the door. So it doesn't really matter, it's rubber. And you got plenty of room on the sides and you can see with the tracks, the tracks only make you four inches wider so you see that like there's like 10 inches on that side. I like to park a little tighter to this side when I come in so it gives me more room, but you can see there's still six inches. So, and basically look how much clearance. And with the tracks, so you're six and a half inches taller and still doing this because I, I cheaped out at first. I just mounted my light on the top here instead of grabbing the brackets here to lower it. I consider everybody to do that, especially if you're gonna like put a six inch lift with 34s or something. Maybe you'll need to have the light bar lower. But as you can see, it cleared. So for me, and like you can see the room that you got left over in the front. So you got plenty of room to put stuff in here. Like spare tires and stuff and gear and everything. And I could even pull more ahead. And then if you look in the back, I could pull obviously three, three to four, three feet more in front. And it gives me right now three feet in the back so i get six feet wide and the atv is only about 50 some inches so it's not six feet wide so i fit it back there or if you're just going alone you can put some stuff but besides that like below six feet there you got no problem even with safety toes you don't bang your head and i don't know it's uh if you're looking at a reason why to buy an enclosed trailer over a flat trailer i'm thinking just the security of having all your gear put away and out of sight, out of mind. And when you get home, that you don't need to worry about, oh, I got to put it away or whatever. Or if you don't have any room in the garage, like I was saying earlier. And uh, just an uh, easy way to put everything away and not worry about anything. So if you're debating on what kind of trailer to get, these shockwaves, you can get them in matching colors and everything that you don't have to go like black like I did, like a blackout edition. Come with aluminum rims and a nice step inside that's hidden away so you got no step sticking out. So that's all nice for that. Even got lights inside on and off and it's connected to it. So, and same thing, locks from the inside, just like a camper. And uh, makes it easy. Yeah lock it up with two locks and that's about it it tows really easy like I got no complaints the only thing that I found about this trailer was I had to re repaint my hitch and repaint my bumper the paint on after a year started flaking off and so I had to repaint everything I think the bumper in the back dirty a little bit you might not see it but I had to repaint it is all of this here was all flaking off and everything and uh yeah that's the only downfall i think they should put like a rust inhibitor or something like we used to have at the body shops uh, you spray it on it comes purple when it stops the rust and then put a primer on it and paint maybe they should invest on that but it's just uh, 
that's the only downfall with the trailers but i think any trailer it rusts in no time but at least with this with aluminum sheets and painted the outside stays nice and stays nice because it's not rusting or nothing and this is a 2021 so it's 32 years old yeah it was bought and where we bought it in august august of 2021 eh? that's what it was yeah so that's the review on my trailer i love it it pulls easy puts away everything easy when you get home you're in no rush the wife needs to go to the bathroom she's got her own place you want to change before you finish your ride and change description see privacy especially if there's kids around if you got children you need to go to the bathroom or whatever or change i don't know for me enclosed trailers bar none the way to go but if you're debating on what reasons you need well those are the reasons i chose to go with an enclosed trailer and uh yeah i'm happy with it it's uh it's always fun i always know that i got a washroom place to change and all of the above that i mentioned so if you guys have any questions i just want to give you guys a highlight of why i chose it and you obviously know why it's black because everything i own is black so that's that so thanks for watching again guys appreciate you guys and uh, see you on the next one and uh, hopefully it's sooner than later and uh have fun be safe out there enjoy the summer it started finally for us there it was cold for a little bit but uh now the weather seems to have picked up and i'm going to be on holidays my son's coming back from the military and uh next friday he's driving down so he'll be here saturday next week so i can't wait for that i've been waiting for a year to see him so you guys take care and i uh, appreciate you guys all for subscribing I can't believe that we're climbing like that, so uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now. Be safe. Yeah, and another reason why I like this trailer, you're watching this, you, you watch till the end, is actually backing up. You don't even have to pay attention to the cables on the side because you got eight and a half foot wide. So when it's a seven footer, you're like kind of watching those cables and everything that you're not going to grab them right so yeah that's a, that's another reason why to uh that's nice so, anyway thanks for sticking to the end